Hi guys, it's Desi here and Jiggy. I think you can see him. Um, I just got back from an appointment that I had at the pain clinic. Uh, today is the first day in a whole month since my first back procedure, the left side. Um, the pain got worse after after they did the procedure. So it finally let go and I don't have any pain today. It's been almost a straight month. So yay, today's a good day. Um, didn't get to go anywhere because the car's acting up so we had to hurry up and get home. And actually, um, it's kind of humid today. <laughs> and it is very cloudy so I might be fighting, trying to hurry up for this little segment here because um, it's pretty cloudy. I think it might rain. So, I am well, just wanted to tell you what I'm working on. I have some whips. And I'm working them out of this book here. It's 3D Granny Squares 100 Crochet Patterns for Pop-Up Granny Squares by uh, the designers are Katie Moore, Sharna Moore, and Celine Seaman. So that's that book. And inside, I have my stuff because I was crocheting in the car. <laughs> now this here, this is a little square and it, it, I wasn't going to start it out as a square, but I accidentally, because I'm tired, <laughs> I was looking at where it said square instead of doing the feet of the little creature that's supposed to be inside of this square that I created <laughs> last night, which I stayed up all night long doing. And the reason is, is because I was using a smaller hook there's a fly and uh, I don't know it just took quite some time I'm not sure why maybe I was just too tired or thinking about too much stuff but anyway this was supposed to be I was gonna make a frog and it started out I thought I was making the feet and I was like what why is it turning out flat like that <laughs> so I just went with it and I made the circle when I realized it was actually gonna be a square instead of the froggy feet for putting on here so I went with it and I just decided I'll make another square because my plans are, and by the way, I'm using a 2.5 hook. Ugh. For me, that's terrible. But this is what I was thinking is just making a bunch of squares and making some sort of a little tiny blanket or something for one of the grandkiddos. Just, I've been wanting to do that for quite some time. I've been wanting to do the, the little animals that you put um, on your squares and then you can connect them all together and you have a cute little blanket and that's what I was wanting to do. And uh, by the way, I am using my dots hooks that I got. That I got. Remember these? <laughs> They're working out really nice for my hands. I'm really enjoying using them. So thanks again, Wendy, for this wonderful happy mail it was part of a happy mail she got me some other stuff too and i just really appreciate everything that i've gotten from anybody that has sent me some stuff i just want you to know how much that means to me um it just means an awful lot and the other thing that i'm working on uh the other day i decided my air conditioner's on Ugh. i hope you can hear me um I made two squares and then I uh, single crocheted around the three sides and I made a llama with a blanket and then the little tassels on the bottom. It's not done. I have yet to do the uh, tail on the llama. I need to do the handle up here and tassels on the bottom and I want to line the inside, which I have never done before, so that's going to be something that I'm trying out. But that, this, this here is an idea that's in this book. And let's see if I can remember where, where it is. Um, here it is. It's, it's a little bag right down the bottom over here. And I know I'm not supposed to show the pattern, but I don't think you guys might even be able to see it. It's so small. 
and I don't really have anything to cover it up out here so so that's one of the things that I'm doing um, I also emailed uh, Billy at the, over at the Crafty Floridian channel and uh, I, I know that she wants squares and they're for certain holidays and uh, I was thinking that maybe I would do a few and send them out so I'm thinking about doing that um, I have yarn coming in from that I used my card online from Joanne's store and I'm going to make myself one of them really big blankets from Juan's uh, pattern. Uh, remember the blanket from the, that video that I did for the blanket for my husband that I used Juan's pattern? A really big blanket, the squares. Well, I'm going to make my own and I'm waiting on the Joanne yarn to come in. I apologize for the air conditioner running there. Um, so anyway, those are some some whips and some things that, that, I, that I'm doing. The Sophie's Universe, so I, I haven't even started that. I have to get started with that. I don't know, just haven't been really up to it. Just haven't been feeling up to it all the way, all the way around. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, that's just a little snippet, a little segment. So I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail to talk about some more stuff. So hang in there. Hello again. We are upstairs. Uh, as the slide showed in the beginning, I'm trying something new and it's new to me. So first off, what we've got, I've showed you before, I'm making a little purse for my granddaughter. It's not done. It has a llama on the front and I have to do the tail yet. I have to do the handle yet. I have to do the fringes yet. But what this is concerning is I want to try something new, so I'm going to have to turn this inside out. And instead of where you would take your cloth and put all the padding and all that stuff, I'm not going to do all that because it's just my little granddaughter. She's like three years old. So I'm trying this. Other people may have done it. I don't know. It kind of just popped in my head and I was like, yeah, I want to do that. So I checked to see if I had any Velcro. I have Velcro. I have my inner lining, my cloth. And what I'm going to do is cut that to size to fit around here for the inside. I may do a little sew at the bottom, but the Velcro is so that I don't have to do the sewing. What I would like to do is cut the square so that it goes around and hopefully will fit. Cut the Velcro, put the Velcro along the top, put the cloth inside of it, put the other part that uh, it'll go like Velcro, cloth, and then the sticky part that goes uh, so that it, it sticks where the cloth will be in the middle and it'll stick to this, it'll stick to the cloth and then the outer part will stick to that and this part will not be sticky so it won't be sticking to anything that it shouldn't be so that's my plan um i got my little sew kit <laughs> i may have to have hubby cubby help me because i can't see to fit thread into a uh, needle but uh as i've shown you before i got this uh square and llama idea out of this 3D granny squares 100 crochet patterns for pop-up granny squares and this is the little person here at first I was going to make a long handle and then I rethought that because um, my daughter has two kiddos and Hildy the one I'm making this for I think is three I think and then her brother's like a year younger I don't know I don't really have the ages too good but if I was to do a long handle on this and then he got a hold of playing with it and it got wrapped around his neck no so what I'll do is I'll just make the purse like it is on here hopefully it'll turn out like that so that's my plan um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn everything around so that you can see behind me and down onto this table so be right back okay this is a little bit tricky trying to do it like this but uh 
I'll try. I'm going to move my book off the table. I want to have some room here. And the sewing kit, we don't need that right now. Okay, let me get out my handy dandy measuring tool. Maybe a pen. I don't know. I should use a marker, but I really, I'd have to dig for it. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. So, let's see what size my square is. Well, down here, it's, yeah, I'd say about five. And then, this is going to be tricky. I'm going to do a guesstimation. Hmm. I'm going to say seven, and that's going to be five. So, Move that to the side. Let's try to figure this out. I don't want it to go all the way up to the top. At least I don't think I do. So, but better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. Okay. Now, let me see. Give a little bit of leeway for that. So I'm going to say out to here. Hopefully I'll get this right the first time because if I don't, then I'm in big trouble. Alright, where'd that little pen mark go? I lost it already. I'm going to say two. And then two over here. And we'll try it like this. So I'm going to cut that and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. Now, I got my cloth cut. It's not perfect, but that's okay. I took the Velcro out of the box. There are two different kinds. There's this one. They're all the same. And then there are these kind that are going to be cut and put on to the actual project. So, I'm going to cut some of these. Um, not real big, just enough to go to the edge. All right, let me see. Maybe, I don't know, maybe half of it? I'll try half because I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. Give me some leeway here. This is just... <laughs> this is flying by the seat of my pants. That's what this is called. Yep. Just an idea I had in my head. Don't know if it's going to work. If it works, then I will upload this video. Because <laughs> I thought you guys might like to see. And I hope it, hope it, hope it works. That's my plan anyway. We'll give it a shot. Oops. Alright, let me see. I've got the project inside out. I'm going to take, let me see, take the sticky stuff off, okay, um, I 
think it goes this way. Whoops, I don't... Oh, shoot. I probably should have cut that even... Uh, well, maybe that'll work. I don't know. We'll see. Shoot. I don't want it up that high. Let's try that. Um, it's almost like you gotta get it on the first try or it'll get messed up. But do you see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to... We probably should have cut it skinnier. But... I'm just going to do it the way I'm thinking. That it might work. Like I said, this is just a work in progress. You guys are probably saying, do it this way, do it that way. <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm just trying something. Oops, wrong way. Oh, boy, is that... Ah! Getting my fingers stuck all over it. Okay. Try that. And then i got to take the cloth and hopefully do it right the first time. I hope you guys can see that. Can you see that? Uh, but it ain't perfect, it ain't perfect because this goes in the middle so it doesn't matter. And then what did he say to do? Okay, so what I decided to do is I'm not going to use these ones that do not stick. I'm not going to do three layers. I just put, I just put uh, the one that's, the one that was sticky that I cut, I just put it, remember the bag is inside out, so I put that sticky part on the fabric and then I put this on here. So it's sticking to it. And now there is going to be a little bit of sewing. I mean, I know I could have chose to go ahead and do this and put it up the side, but I think I'm just going to... I'm not the world's best sewer, and I'm not going to try to do it perfect. I'm just going to sew it. So I'll do that, and I'll be back. All right, guys. I sewed up the sides. Like I said, I'm not a sewer. <laughs> I just sewed that, and I sewed that. Now I'm going to turn it in the right side. Turn it to the right side. And see how we did. I think I put that one side the wrong way. I have to fix that. what I did to put it the wrong way. Live and learn, right guys? Live and learn. It's just an experiment. I bet you guys saw that. You're turning it the wrong way. That's all right. Now, Get this cloth straight. Can you guys see? I hope you can see. Hang on a second. I know you probably can't see that. It's not perfect. I'm going to fix the kinks <laughs> before I give it to her. You know I will. 
being the perfectionist that I am, you know that I will. Just hang on a sec, I'll show you what I'm doing here. And if you, you guys can't see it, I'm sorry. Just trying to straighten that out. Just straightening around the, the edges here. Getting it the way it should be. There's probably a lot easier way to do this, but I always do things the hard way. Yes, sir, I do. Like I said, it's just an idea to try to make things a little easier. <laughs> is it making it easier? Yeah, I think it is. It's just a few little kinks in my plan. I'm sure you guys might have come up with a different idea, and that's cool. If you want to try it and do it your way, that's cool. That's cool, too. We all do things our own way. There, I think that works. Yeah, now she's got a padded bag. See? It works. I think it works. Yep. I think it works fine. Okay, so now what I got to do is I need to put the tail on my little llama. And then finish crocheting up the handle and put the fringes on. So I think I'm gonna move my move my uh, velcro out of the way and my needle and thread. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna try to put this away. It'll probably be a real mess. So I'm just gonna put that off to the side. The velcro, um, the scissors. The needle, the thread, and we're going to get our yarn up here um, as soon as I remember where I put my bag. Okay, <sighs> got to get my book out too. Where did I put my book? Oh, I'm losing everything today. Okay, my book is on the floor. Get my book, get my yarn. This is mint color and it's Big Twist. And that's what I'm gonna use. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the fringe. Um, okay, and I gotta get my hook. And I'm using my new dots hook. And it's in here somewhere, <laughs> I believe. Yeah. Okay, so let's find out what we got to do here in my book. Okay, so now we got to find in the book where the llama's at. And we're going to do the handle. Um, here's the handle. Okay, join. In the chain two space at the top right corner. Okay, so I will do that. I'll crochet the handle up and I will be right back. So now I figured I'd just turn around from my desk here and uh, all I'm doing is uh, single crocheting all the way around. And then let's see, I gotta do six rounds and then. But anyway, I, I wasn't even sure if I was going to do this for uh, <laughs> for my video today. I actually wanted to cut my husband's hair and do a chit chat because I told you guys that uh, that uh, <laughs> I know he wants to tell the story about how we met on the internet. But when I told when I said, "Can I cut your hair today?" put the camera out in the kitchen with us and uh, have you tell the story. And he was like, nope, nope, ain't doing it. So 
that's not going to happen. He's too shy, I suppose, to, to be seen with his hair wet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I said I'll show the back of your head. I won't even show the front. And, and we can talk and just have a good time with our friends. And he's like, nope. He says, we can... Uh, we can sit on the couch together and we can talk about it here. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but I don't think that's very visually stimulating, you know. But I couldn't get him to go for it, so. And I've been fighting myself all day today to just get moving and getting stuff done. Uh, I figured a shower would help, and it did help some, but... I'm having a lot of pain today, so it's kind of a rough day for me. Kind of rough going. Um, yeah. So, trying to figure out. I think it says to slip stitch over. Um, where is it? Slip the clothes in round close around 64 they're supposed to be all right guys I have I have some yarn tails to to uh, sew in but the inside looks good I did my handles little handles there and all that was was just uh, chaining you know skipping chaining and then single crocheting around. I think I made three rounds there going around the top. Uh, what I have next to do is to put the little tail on. That'll take no time at all. So the yarn tail's in. There's only a couple of them. A couple on the inside. You know, just a couple. So there's like three to sew in. And then, right now, what I'm going to do, since there is... 28 uh, single crochets across the bottom what I need to do is go in every other uh, single crochet and put my little strips six inch strips to make fringes so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be measuring and cutting and you guys don't want to see that so I'll be back when that's done all right, let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, I think I'll bring it down a little bit. Okay, so I did the first one. I just put it in the corner in that little single crochet. I took two strands. Since the, since the colors theme is like the sparkly and then the turquoise, um, what I did was I cut little six inch strips I uh, think I well if they didn't fall on the floor some of them may have but I did seven of the turquoise and seven which I think some of these might have got a little too short but whatever I'll cut another one if I have to and what I'm doing is I'm taking and putting these two together Trying to match them up the best that I can. Like, see, that one's not perfectly same size. But, I don't know. I don't know why. Why did I not get that close? Or, oh well, I'll just pull that down a little bit. I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to bend it over. Try to get it best that I can for being in half. See the loop? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and skip a stitch, go to the next one, put my hook in, grab the loop, pull it through, okay, and then wrap that around there and pull it through the best that I can. There. And then just pull it through. Tighten it down. I hope you can see that. And just like kind of pull it a little bit tight. Not too, too tight. 
and then see we got little fringes on there and when it's when they're all done being put on I can cut them so that they're even if I want so I've got a few more of those to do I don't know I may recut cut some more of these because somehow well that one that one worked out let me, let me see I'm gonna try to match these up see how many match up I mean that one's not terribly bad That one's not too, too bad. They don't have to be perfect. Nobody's going to go around with a measuring tape <laughs> and say, you know, that's not completely six inches. So, got to try to get over that perfectionism a little bit. I don't know how many more I'll need here because I really didn't count. Bring it in. Okay. You take this one here. Try to match that up best that I can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Skip one. Skip and go to this one. Put that through. Pull it through. Wrap the other side around, pull it through. Sometimes it can be tricky. There we go. Tighten it down. And that's all there is to that. So I'm going to finish those up and I'll be back. I also wanted to show you guys a trick that I do here. Um, first of all, I measure it for the six that I want, six inches, okay, doesn't have to be perfect, just close, so that's my six, okay, so I'm going to go around here, about, let me see what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go, see that, that's where the string is, and then I hold on to that, and I take it down to the bottom of it, Hold on to that, go down like that. I'm still holding on. So that was one, two, get some more here, three, four. five, six, and then when I cut it, you'll see I went around six times, but then I want to cut these loops on each side. I'm still holding on so I don't so I don't get it all mixed up as far as the measurement goes. So I'm just cutting the loops. And now, how many do I have? Oh, I got to cut that one too there. So I got, I remember I was going around six times, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got seven of those. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. That's what I need. And then how many holes do I have left? So I want to do two of each there. So I got one, two, three, four, five, about six to go. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I got to thinking maybe, maybe I was too quick on that last time that I showed you. So I'm going to take and show you again for those who have never done this before 
I just take and put those two strands together, fold it over, hold it in my hand, get this piece here, which it's skip one and go to the next, put my hook in, wrap it around those loops, pull it through, wrap it around, okay, and then pull it through the best that you can, and then grab a hold of the bottom here and then kind of just don't pull it super tight but just a little little a little tug okay I'm gonna finish those rest of those up and I'll be back to do the tail on the llama I'm sewing in the last darn yarn tail and then I'll show you the results of this cute little bag Yes, it is very, very cute, and it took no time at all. Whipped it up real quick. Really cute design, and I like the idea that I came up with, with the Velcro. It saved sewing some, you know. The sewing I did wasn't bad. It was really quick. Um, I don't know. I just was having fun creating, and I thought... I just had a bright idea, and bingo, I searched for my um, Velcro, couldn't believe it, found it like right away, I thought I was going to have to tear my closet apart, I found it right away, and then I was like, okay, this must be meant to be, <laughs> and uh, I went to town on the little bag, and I shared it with you guys, I'll let you have some of the fun, maybe you can do up one of these bags and uh, if you do please post it on Facebook on Desi's crochet community I would really love that I'd really love to see your stuff and it doesn't even have to be this little purse it can be any of your creations so I'm going to show you like you saw before that's the purse that's how they did theirs Okay, and this is the end result of mine. I wanted to make it colorful for uh, Hildy. <laughs> Plus, this is one of my favorite colors right here, but there it is. Look how cute. See little fringies? I made two different colors of blue, one sparkly, one not because of this up here. I put the little tail on it, just like they have in the book, four little strands, and it sticks out the way theirs does. I think I should have put a little, I don't know if llamas have a little bit of, I think they have like fuzz up here or something. I don't know, it just seems like it should have something. And then, of course, the, you know, and how I did the inside. I really like it. And it's staying put, you know, with them. I like it. There's the inside. Colorful for her. See? I think she'll like it. I would have liked to put straps, like long straps on it. But, uh, like I said, she has a little brother, and I just don't trust, you know, it would easily get tangled up with all the rest of the toys, and around the neck it goes, and mm -mm, we don't want that. So there's the end result. Isn't it cute? I love it. it. Turned out so nice. So nice. There's my llama. <laughs> That's the blanket right here. And I don't know. In the beginning, I thought they were putting a flower on this. And then I realized after when I did it, I think it's actually meant to look like part of the blanket. But that's okay. Or it could just be like, you know, this is the blanket. And then this is what they're carrying. And you know how you throw it over a horse your your saddle and then you put your stuff on there maybe we can just pretend <laughs> and then uh, that right there these are little fringes which they kind of went and did their own thing these are little fringes that was why I did it like that but I think she's really gonna like it 
and there's the other side just like that there you go gorgeous so much fun I mean this was single crochet not too much to that right yeah just two squares yeah I'm gonna be doing getting into a lot of squares I think so if you want to make one you know what to do look on Amazon and look for 3d granny squares 100 crochet crochet patterns for pop-up granny squares uh, designers are Katie Moore Sharna Moore and Celine Seaman Seaman or whatever but that's what it looks like it's a lot of fun guys a lot a lot of fun and now I got something else for the Christmas make ahead <laughs> I can't get that word in my head yeah I love it please give my give some of my other videos some love yeah I need to get those numbers up <laughs> I really do so you know what that means it means likes it means comments it means shares and subscribe if you like my stuff please consider subscribing if you've already subscribed thank you guys thank you very much so uh, at the end of this video there's going to be end card and it's going to have two videos and you can click on either one so click on one watch some more watch the very end thank you so much for your support guys so it's been really 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 nice being here with you today we all need some company don't we so i'm glad you guys are here with me i love it i love the time we spend together so you know what time it is it's time for some snips, some shells, and weaving in them darn yarn tails. See you later, guys. Bye. Love you. I also wanted to let you guys know that I am thinking about, um, with my videos, I don't know, maybe switching things up a little bit, maybe doing them 20 to 30 minutes long rather than an hour. Uh, I'm thinking it might be easier on me, and I know that for the most part, human beings, and no offense to anybody, human beings, me included, have short attention spans, so maybe that would be better. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you prefer the hour long, or would you like them to be, my videos to be around 20 to 30 minutes long? So let me know that. Um, just something that I'm considering. I do need a, uh, a lot more watch hours. I'm getting close so that I'll be able to have ads on my channel. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that I have like 80 some videos and I found out when I was doing a chat with uh, YouTube, <laughs> I found out that I have 56 claims because I was using music which I thought it was fine through Canva because it said something about, you know, you can use their music, you don't get a claim ID or strike or whatever on YouTube. Well, I found out that's different than a claim. So now I found out that since I have music on 56 of my videos that I need to take that off there, which is going to screw up my videos. <laughs> so I have a choice. Leave it on there, and when new people come in, they're going to be okay with seeing my videos, music included, and I, I spent a lot of time with that. Um, that's just the way it is, you know. So either I take that off there and I risk, you know, new subscribers coming in and going, what the heck, you know, why is she just sitting there crocheting? Normally I'd have music to it, you know. So those videos would be like that. I could do that and then uh, get all those claims off by taking the music off and be able to do members have members uh, you know you guys do the members thing with me but if I leave that music on there I'll have those claims and I, and I cannot do uh, uh, the members group so I got some thinking to do but for the ads as far as that goes um, I think I'm like 600 watch hours away from having 4,000 so I need those I need to watch hours guys uh, I think a good way to do that would be to watch my playlist. Pop them on, let them play, do your thing around your house, or, you know, whatever. Just let them play, listen. That'd be fantastic. I could get some watch hours. 
um, and share my videos. Let people know. Get the word out, please. I need these watch hours. That would be so, so, so awesome. I need your help. I'm recruiting you. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to put that in there.